My cheating wife is having an affair with my best friend and got pregnant. 11 years ago, my wife had a very involved affair with my best friend, to the point of even leaving me for him. As time passed, we eventually got back together, but she cheated on me with him again 5 years later. I then forgave her and we reconciled our relationship again. She then found out that she was pregnant about a month ago. Since then, I can't shake the feeling that it could potentially be someone else's child. She has sworn up and down that the baby is mine, and she has no problem taking a paternity test the moment that the baby is born. But she has lied about important things as recently as two weeks ago and only came clean when I found evidence that she lied. So I kind of wonder if she just kind of hopes that the child is mine and is rolling the dice on the test to confirm it so she doesn't have to deal with me yelling about it until then. Update. Since my last post, me and my wife have stayed together as I wanted to wait for her to give birth so she can get a paternity test done. The update is that she did the paternity test and unfortunately for me, the baby is not mine. She begged me not to tell my best friend that she didn't want to complicate things between them. If I'm going to be honest here, then I should also confess that my wife has been openly cheating on me for quite some time. During her pregnancy, she cheated on me multiple times and the signs were clearly there. I just couldn't bring myself to confront my wife about it, so I just accepted it. However, lately she's been caring less and less about her relationship too. She would just get ready and go to my best friend's house who she's been sleeping with multiple times and when she gets home, all her makeup and lipstick is smudged all over her face and I'll ask her if she slept with him and she would just basically wink at me and then she would say, I shouldn't ask questions that I don't want the answer to. Since she's given birth to my friend's baby, I felt concerns that the baby could be neglected if I had left. So I've basically been raising this child by myself. I want to say as a single dad but I'm technically not the father so I technically can't say that. We are still married but she does the bare minimum in our relationship and she's always going out with my best friend. I've confronted my best friend too and he just says that he can't resist her temptations. He does admit that we are friends and he wishes that things were different. There's been so many times where I just want to tell him that the baby is his but if I'm going to be honest again, I've actually grown very close to the baby myself and I don't know if I can give up on being the baby's dad. Any piece of advice would be great right now. So this is a clear case of a woman who marries a simp, they give her an inch, she takes the whole mile. As you can see, as his story progressed, he was talking about her caring less and less and less about the relationship. She didn't give a flying f by the end of it. She was openly cheating. She was doing whatever she wants. And I'm going to get onto this guy's best friend in a second because this guy's a f too, but let's put that geezer on the sidelines for now. I personally think deep, deep down, now it hasn't been said, but I genuinely believe deep down that he actually doesn't mind it. I think that he actually likes to be his wife's cuckold, and I actually think that there might be a part of him that might even be a little bit turned on. There's no way on this planet that if you didn't accept it and semi like it, you'd be raising a baby that isn't even yours. Mate, your wife has been f***ing another guy, and that baby belongs to him, not you. So my initial thoughts are this. Being a cuckold is actually a type of relationship that some people do enjoy. I don't personally agree with it or understand it, because I'm not a simp. But if you do enjoy it and you do like that type of relationship, then just let things happen as they happen. The fact that she comes home with clear signs that she's been f***ed by your best friend, that is messed up. Now, onto your best friend. How the f*** is he going to sit there and f*** your wife and tell you that you are friends? That is the most disloyal thing that he could ever, ever do. If you guys establish that you guys are cuckolds and all this and all the rest of it, and you told them, hey, I want you to f*** my wife, that's a little bit different. But in the situation that we're in now, that's not what's happened. What's happened here is that your wife and your best friend have been f behind your back. There's a lot of this little shit going on here and I think that you need to rethink who your friends are too. If he's your best friend and he's doing shit like that, I'd be scared to know what your average friends are up to. It's things for you to consider. You firstly need to rethink your friendship with your best friend. You secondly need to rethink your relationship with your wife. And the third thing you've got to do, you've got to decide whether you deep down enjoy being a cuckold for your wife or you don't want to do that. You've got a bit of respect for yourself. You want to grow a pair of balls and you want to leave her and have some self-dignity, man. So those are the things to consider. And on that note, that brings us to the end of this video. Make sure you hit that like button right now. Let us know down below in the comments if you agree or disagree with what I've said. As the bigger the subscribers get, the more I can keep this channel alive. And on a final note, if you've enjoyed this story, then make sure you watch this story next that's about to appear by my finger. See you on it.